David Gross, a Nobel laureate in physics, has pointed out that what we're facing now in the realm of cosmology isn't just a simple conflict or problem. It's a crisis, one that began around the summer of 2022. Gross explained that this crisis goes beyond mere scientific puzzles, it challenges the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. Since the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, released its first deep field images of the cosmos, revealing ancient galaxies and black holes that seemed impossible given current theories, the scientific community has been thrown into unprecedented turmoil. According to Gross, the issue isn't that science is grappling with a mere technical hiccup or a theoretical inconsistency. Rather, this is a genuine crisis that threatens to unravel much of what we thought we knew about cosmology. For decades, our understanding of the universe, its origins, and its fundamental laws have been built on concepts like the Big Bang, cosmic expansion, dark matter, and dark energy. But now, as Gross succinctly puts it, everything is being called into question. If these new observations hold up under scrutiny, they could force a wholesale revision of these key concepts. The crisis was triggered by the JWST's unprecedented ability to peer deep into the early universe. In July 2022, the telescope captured its first deep field image, revealing some of the oldest galaxies ever observed, galaxies whose light has been traveling to us for billions of years. Among these discoveries, a Harvard researcher named Rohan Naidu identified a galaxy with a redshift of 13z. This galaxy was already shining just 200 million years after the Big Bang, a staggering find that has scientists questioning the timeline of galaxy formation. According to current cosmological models, it should take billions of years for galaxies to evolve. Yet here was an ancient galaxy that seemed fully formed in the earliest epochs of the universe. Even more surprising was the discovery of multiple other galaxies, all equally ancient and complex, existing at a time when the universe should have been in its dark ages. This was a period when, according to current models, only a few stars had formed. Furthermore, researchers identified at least seven black holes that also seemed far too massive and well-developed for their age. These discoveries have not just shaken, but potentially upended, modern cosmology. Scientists are scrambling to test these findings, knowing that if they are correct, the implications are seismic. Gross emphasized the profound implications of these new revelations. The Big Bang Theory, which has been the cornerstone of cosmological science for nearly a century, may now be at risk. Emerging evidence suggests it might not withstand the latest scrutiny. If proven incorrect, the Big Bang Theory's collapse could unravel the entire structure of modern cosmology, potentially invalidating other fundamental concepts such as the expansion of the universe and leading to a complete overhaul of our understanding of cosmic phenomena. This means that the textbooks billions of students study worldwide would need to be rewritten. A new physics would be required, and the scientific community would have to start from scratch in understanding the origin, evolution, and structure of the universe. The sheer scale of the crisis becomes clearer when one considers that almost all theories about the Big Bang are based on a single observation made by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s. That galaxies appear to be moving away from us, and that their speed is proportional to their distance. This led to the formulation of Hubble's law, which describes the rate of this expansion and gave birth to the idea of an expanding universe. The theory of the Big Bang was a natural outgrowth of these observations. Thanks to JWST, scientists are now reassessing the Hubble constant, a crucial metric for understanding the universe's expansion. Gross pointed out that new data has revealed discrepancies, known as Hubble tension, where different methods for measuring the expansion rate yield inconsistent results. Previously, these inconsistencies lacked a clear explanation, but with JWST's findings, they are now undergoing more rigorous examination. Gross highlighted that the crisis extends beyond doubts about the Big Bang and cosmic expansion to fundamental questions about the universe's early moments. The formation of matter, and the roles of dark matter and dark energy, are all under scrutiny. Since the 1930s, when Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky first identified anomalies in galaxy movements, dark matter has been proposed as an invisible force crucial for galaxy formation and cosmic structure. However, despite decades of research, there is still no direct evidence of dark matter's existence. This crisis has shaken our understanding of dark energy, the force thought to drive the universe's accelerated expansion. Observations suggested this acceleration began 5 billion years ago, conflicting with Big Bang predictions. 
Now, JWST's discoveries have scientists questioning whether dark energy is real or a misinterpretation of the data. As Gross emphasized, old theories are now under intense scrutiny, with new hypotheses emerging. Some scientists are revisiting alternative models like Modified Newtonian Dynamics MOND, which adjusts gravity laws to explain galaxy movement anomalies without needing dark matter. Though MOND has been sidelined in mainstream cosmology, the current crisis has revived interest in such theories. Gross predicted that the coming years will see a resurgence in these alternative ideas as scientists work to interpret the groundbreaking new data. Physicist Rajendra Gupta from Ottawa proposed a bold theory in 2023, combining dark energy, modified gravitational theory, and cyclical universe concepts. His model suggests the universe could be as old as 26.8 billion years, offering more time for galaxies and stars to form, potentially explaining why JWST is observing mature structures in what was thought to be the early universe. However, as Gross emphasized, new theories like Gupta's, while intriguing, are not yet universally accepted. Much more data is required before any definitive conclusions can be made. Fortunately, JWST marks just the beginning of a new era in astronomy. Gross noted that several other groundbreaking missions are on the horizon. In 2023, the European Space Agency ESA, launched the Euclid Space Telescope, aimed at creating the most detailed map of the universe yet. This map could offer crucial insights into the existence of dark matter and other cosmic mysteries. By 2026, NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will contribute to the search for answers, focusing on supernovae and cosmic expansion. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile will offer unprecedented insights into the large-scale structure of the universe, revealing more about galaxy formation, clusters, and cosmic filaments. In 2024, NASA's SphereX mission will map the entire sky in multiple wavelengths, collecting valuable data on cosmic background radiation in the universe's history. As Gross noted, we are entering an exciting yet uncertain phase in science. The JWST's discoveries have challenged much of our previous knowledge, sparking a race to understand these new revelations. While daunting, this crisis presents a unique opportunity for the scientific community to rethink and potentially transform our understanding of the cosmos and reality itself. Thank you for watching another episode of Space Odyssey. While you are still here, don't forget to like and subscribe.